want to learn how to swim, you need a swimming pool, you need you know, the snow stroke. So in the Singapore Polytechnic context, what do we do? Like example, we ask the student to build a racing car. Okay, we must provide them with the workshop, the skill so that they can design the racing car and then with the workshop so that they can fabricate the car and then to operate the car. Okay, so that means it's the environment, the tools they give to the students. In the second year for mechanical engineering, we actually replicate a real system from the, from the factory and we use it to teach the students design and build. So that the context is that they get the real thing from industry. So they actually learn what industry uh, standards are. Instead of building a prototype, it's a real system that we actually introduce the system. So this whole context. Okay, uh, this one we have covered. So we now go to the syllabus. I mentioned just now that the syllabus, there are 13 skill set. How many parts are there? Actually, four parts, correct? Uh, part one, okay, just reiterate. Uh, part one is actually your technical knowledge and reasoning. And part one is actually your discipline. If let's say you're in electrical engineering, you must do subjects pertinent to electrical engineering. If you're from mechanical, you do mechanical engineering. Okay, so part two, three, and four comprises the 13 or 14 skill set. So, uh, from here, you then decide uh, which skill set is important to you. Uh, how do you know which one is important? So I'm going to give you some examples on what the others have done. This is the uh, skill detail. This, there are three levels. Huh? What I show you here is only the first. Like two is the first level. You look at point two, uh, personal and professional skills. That is the top level. Then uh, look at personal skills and attributes, which is the second level. Then you drill one level down, which is the third level. Okay, now what Singapore Polytechnic did when we first started CDIO six years ago, Helene, myself, uh, Chiwai, were you in the first group? Chiwai, uh, we have a whole group of people, and we actually spent three months looking at this syllabus. Every Thursday, I remember the meeting started at 9 o'clock, we ended at about 11 or 12. Every Thursday, the whole team actually looked at it. We look at the syllabus and we ask ourselves the questions. Are these syllabus relevant to us? Should we use it or should we modify it? And we actually came out. So the second workshop on component two, we will share with you SP syllabus. So we actually change it to suit SP context. Okay? So you, you can follow straight away if you want to, but if you want to change it, you can. Because this syllabus is developed based on, uh, from MIT for the aeronautical master course. So we actually change it to suit our diploma, our diploma students. Okay, so we'll share with you what SP syllabus is during the component two. And how do they know what skill sets to use? Okay, what they do is they did a validation to the key stakeholders. Okay, who are the key stakeholders? They actually group into the uh, past graduates, the Mr. Alumni, the staff and industries. And from there, they conduct a survey and I will show you some of the survey results. Eh? And the, before I show you the survey results, let's look at the questions that they ask. So out of all these skill set, they ask actually five questions. Okay, the first question is, do you want the students to be exposed to? Do you want to, the students just to participate, to understand, to be skilled in the practice, or to lead or innovate? So these are the five skills that they actually, uh, that they actually, uh, ask for each skill set okay and the results is this you look at MIT now which one range the highest which skill set range the highest it's actually part three right which is okay part one engineering 2.1 engineering reasoning it's high because these are master degree students right so if you look at the others the personal skill set which is uh, three point uh, 2.4 is high as well right personal attributes and then uh, 3.1 and 3.2 is actually interpersonal skills. So you notice that these are very high. So, uh, Mahali mentioned this morning, we actually started with these three skill set. Communication, teamwork, and personal attributes. Personal attributes are, we introduced the thinking skills, like analysis, compare, contrast, evaluation. All this will be covered in component two, the thinking skills. So, based on this feedback, or based on this survey, you find these two are the most I mean, most needed skill set, okay? So again, it's 
up to uh, Tula, if you feel that these are the three skills that, that you need. So that's why last night I was talking to Mana. So if you think these are the two very important ones, we will concentrate on that. Okay, so we need to do an analysis afterwards. Then if you look at, in detail, this is another uh, survey. This is by Alumina. Again, you see 3.1, 3.2, still rate the highest, correct? Of course, the designing part, uh, if you look down at 4.4, .4. okay? So again, this reflected very well that the student engineers, uh, there's a common say, uh, engineers are very good, and I mean mentally, but when it comes to communicating, communicating with the public, uh, they have these problems, okay? So this here is reflected as well, the communication is important, and also how to work with people. Okay, these days the projects, uh, it's not about, uh, it's not about you working in isolation, but you must be able to communicate with people. Because there's so much technology up there, there's no such thing as one discipline. You do any projects, it's a cross-discipline. So if you want to get people to work together with you, teamwork is very important. Okay, so this is reflected in the survey as well. Then you look at the, uh, okay, I want you to do a very quick exercise. Eh? Based on the five questions, experience, to participate, and then very quickly, look at, I just look at uh, skill set 2.4, which is the personal skills and attitude. This, I'm drilling down to the level three, third level. Okay, so uh, we look at uh, in initiative and willingness to take risks, perseverance and flexibility, creative thinking, uh, critical thinking, awareness of one personal skills, knowledge, curiosity. And this morning, you have already printed out, you have already shown some of the, the things that you need, right? This morning, when, when uh, the question was, was asked, okay, what do you want your students? What's the question? Your engineering students. What's the question again? <laughs> So you see, you said you said about communication is covered in the CDL skill set. When you talk about lifelong learning is also covered. So most of the things that you want in your students. Your wavelength. Okay, now uh, I actually do a little things if you have a paper. I just want you to do very quickly, maybe you group two or three person together and ask yourself the questions. These are the seven skill set. Okay. Now at this level of proficiency, I don't want you to talk about future. Talk about now. How do you see your students? At which level are they now? Okay, just spend maybe five minutes. Just look at it and now at this level, at what level of proficiency are your student at? For the seven skill set. It's, it's uh, given in your notes. You can discuss if you want to. Just spend five minutes.
projects, which is a robot playing chess with a human. So that was more than 10 years ago, and they got very excited. I mean, the press got very excited. So it was exhibited all over Singapore 10 times. And when the press asked them, what made you choose these projects? The students said, don't know, my teacher told me to do. And I was like, you know, you don't say such things. The press interview you. So are these students, <laughs> I mean, OK, this is one of them. They did not choose the projects. They did it because the teacher asked them. So are they, they're not taking risk. It's because the teacher asked them. So for a degree student, I would expect a different level. So are your students willing to take risk to do, especially in the terms of projects? Are they willing to go to new ground, you know, tap new grounds? Do they have initiative? OK, say number one. Let's do it together. How many put number one? One, two, three. OK, the figure three here. How many say it's two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many say it's three? One, two, three. OK. And the rest, four, five, no? Oh dear, <laughs> they can't innovate. <laughs> okay, let's look at the second one. Perseverance and flexi. They give up quickly, easily, or they say there's a problem. They try on their own. Who said one? Wow. Okay, who says uh, two? Three. Who says uh, three? One, two, three. <laughs> Four, okay. Huh? Four, five, six. Eh? Who says uh, four? One. Okay, I have to ask you why. Two, two, two. Two, okay. Creative thinking? Who says one? Anyone? No? Two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three? One. Four? Two. Three. Three. So your student is not bad after all. Huh? Five. Okay. Critical thinking. Critical thinking means they're able to analyze, able to evaluate, you know, compare, contrast. Okay, who says number one? Number two? Three? Oh, it's, looks like good news, man. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine of you think it. Okay, four, one, two, three, five. Nobody. Okay, how about awareness of one personal attitudes, knowledge? One, two. No, no, as uh, I think three. Three, yeah. Three, yeah sorry. Three, uh, two. Nobody. Three? Oh, there's a quite a great difference. Are you, are you talking about the same students? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, four? Hmm, interesting. What course is your student? Number four. You, you rate them high, right? What, what students are that? IT students? Your students? Hmm? Chemical. Chemical. Okay. Um, number five? Number five? Curiosity and life lifelong learning. One, two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Four? Five? Okay, how about time management and resource management? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, uh, four? One. Well, he's very kind to his student. Number five? Okay. Now, the reason why I ask you about cause, uh, because 